cast a really badass of the church the last rock and roll band. I just, uh, something's got to be done about this Arnold Murray guy. Uh, Pastor Arnold Murray uh, hangs out at the Shepherd's Chapel in Gravit, Arkansas. And uh, he stole my life. <laughs> my life. And uh, I really just want to thank him for it. Something has to be done about this man. He deserves an award. And, and yet we got, you know, literally a bunch of Easter bunny chasing, rapture theory. You know, show some documentation on that. You want some documentation on uh, Pastor Arnold Murray? Uh, I feel blessed to uh, make this video today on his behalf because you better bet your sweet ass I won 100%. There's no other preacher. You can just shut up when we're talking about the Bible because you're talking in circles. You're, you're, at, and you're talking about he's adding stuff, you know, and just taking stuff out of text and context. He's the only pastor out there that and he don't point fingers and, you know, look at you. He says, uh, you know, hey, uh, you got the remote control. You got the clicker. You don't like what I got to say? Turn the channel. That's what the man says. And you're sitting there saying he's got a cult following. He says you don't like it. Turn the channel. Well, uh, I left a couple funny stories out of the first video. Sorry about the sold my wife to Al Qaeda joke, uh, but uh, I just want all the people hating Pastor Murray bring it to me. I was 24 years old. I'm 38 now, Mister uh, Murray, sir. Uh, I guess it was uh, about it was 1995. I had a very messed up bag. I did construction work and. Uh, I watched you for about 28 days straight. You'll probably remember this. I literally was going through the Sky Network with my satellite, putting there, couldn't work, making fun of all the preachers. You know, and uh, I watched you so many days in a row, and I finally got on your feet just watching it constantly, and uh, I hated you. You know, I was, you know, about like a boy you pulled, you was, you know, giving the nine to. You know, thinking it was my duty to come tell you, you know, blast me, whatever, you know, just be stupid. And I sat there and prayed. And I, I said, you know, man, it's the end of the month. Your light bill's got to be due or something. And you put your hands together and said, well, it's the end of the month. And uh, the lights are in. You went, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, someone out there must be really, really praying for me to beg. And you said, uh, buddy, I ain't no beggar. I'm a Bible teacher. You were talking to me, and I was praying that you beg, <laughs> and I shot my TV with a 9mm, hell on, matter of fact, and uh, I just wanted to thank you personally, you know, the stories of, in my life are true, you know, my wife hated you, threw a Bible once at a cop, said it's that effing Pastor Murray, another time, Pasco County, Florida. Right across the river here, Hillsborough, said, uh, I ain't going with you. And I stuck a knife to my throat. My wife comes and said, it's that effing Arnold Murray. The cop's jaw dropped and said, son, me and my wife tied with Arnold Murray. At the very end of our breakup, I go buy baseball cards off the man. I'm walking down his hall, and this is for the little super bunny rapper, you know, a uh, Murray hater, uh, saying he, you know, no credentials. Come tell me he don't have credentials. I met one of the, you know, your soldier, sir, and uh, his name was Charlie. I don't remember a lot more about it. I was at a bad part of my life, but uh, I did take him fishing almost till the day he died. He had uh, cancer, but uh, he was in Winter Haven, Florida, and uh, he said, as we were walking down his hall, these points, and it was a numbered purple heart, and said, uh, of course, you know the story, and I said, uh, you know, you ever seen anything like that? I was the first feet on the ground in World War II, son. I'm walking ahead of them. I said, that's funny. As I'm saying it, I look at a picture on the wall, you know, it's not me and my son. It's your big ass with your elbows on these two six-foot, <laughs> five-foot tall guys' heads, you know. I realized you know, how big you were, and like, good thing I didn't 
what day we get up all that floor and come to Arkansas. We you know, pretty big old boy, you know, old and all. It's like, the Lord blessed you. I want to thank you. And, you know, I seen a picture of you and your fatigue. Old Charlie cried, said they send you to war tomorrow. He'll follow you because you never did nothing you wouldn't do yourself. You never asked your men to do. And uh, I guess he was in Korea and both wars where he is, but I'm taking of it. So I could be mistaken on that part, but I definitely, divine intervention has brought you into my life more than once. And uh, literally, all you super preachers, again, because I know I'm a hard to understand, so I jacked my mic up a little bit this time so you can hear me. Uh, Pastor Murray ain't going to point fingers at you. He ain't going to take no thousand dollar reward. He might get on his jet and tell me to come shut the hell up. But uh, he don't need your thousand dollars. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's aware, you know, of the, you know, seven churches in Asia, you know, not the continent. For all you scholars, you know, it does mean the, the world there. And, uh, you know, literally, the Strong's is an amazing tool. Some of these super preachers can say this and that. You can take the Strong's and say one word. That's, to me, the most value of the Strong's. Mm -hmm. But a whole other story. Uh, the Son of Man. You know, basically, Jesus, come on. Uh, judges, you know, these churches, two were found worthy. You know, literally. If we're lucky enough to be one of those churches, we're not going to scratch the surface. So you might not like my redneck ass, my Pastor Billy Badass, Church of the Last Rock and Roll Band, but literally, you got a problem with Pastor Murray? Screw you, because you ain't a pimple on his ass. <laughs> Literally, go back to plowing the field because, uh, <laughs> the preacher man saying, I said, the time, Mississippi River, she's going down. I just wanted to thank you, sir, and I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short because I see I'm up at seven minutes already, and, uh, uh, Y'all want credentials? My name is William Leonard Bowman. I was born in Farmville, Virginia. I ain't no preacher. I even come from Farmville. So give my ass. Give me your credentials. You know, and give me some Easter Bunny credentials too. Why? Why y'all got that up in my daddy's house for? And literally, you know, uh, think of you know six angels with weapons of mass destruction there in Ezekiel. Think that's why they might stack bodies to the ceiling? You got a pagan goddess. E-star, I-S-H-T-E-R. You know, nothing to do with the angel of death passing over and drawing a cross over your doorway. But, uh, you know, I want to argue some stupid shit. The man's basically got you stumped. I'm honored. And, uh, I just want to thank God. With some amazing grace, you know. Mossy Oak, you might want to sponsor. <laughs> I'll take Adidas and Jack Daniels too while I got it. <laughs>